Hey, just in time for the Halloween season, there is a brand new horror flick that features a mystery spot. Ooh. Cody is joined by one of the stars from the film. Uh, yes, we're joined by horror icon Lisa Wilcox, and if we're lucky, her special co-star, her dog. I heard a squeaky toy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. That is, that is Chester. He's no, 12 years old, but he acts like a two-year-old. He's like, Mommy, Mommy, you're on the phone. He starts squeaking his toys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks so much for joining us. Of course, uh, the Nightmare in Elm Street's uh, movie, uh, movies were so spooky, and you were so good in those. Can you give me a real quick Nightmare in Elm Street story? A great Nightmare in Elm Street story? Oh, my goodness. I would say um, <laughs> getting cast <laughs> was, uh, was the nightmare. <laughs> Um, so I had platinum virgin blonde hair uh -huh. and the, you know, 80s makeup, the whole thing. And, you know, look like a cheerleader or prom queen kind of chick. Right. So um, I had a man manager and agent. And they submitted me, but the casting office would not see me because I looked nothing like Alice Johnson, what they pictured for Alice Johnson. Right. 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 So Annette Benson, who cast it tells me the story that they went through over 700 actresses and oh. could not find their Alice. So they went to the reject pile, hi, which is where <laughs> I was. And I finally had an opportunity to audition and I went in with like no makeup, dirty hair. I wore pale yellow, my worst color. And I had a call back on a Friday and I was getting married that Sunday, 150 people at the wedding. Oh my goodness. And learning on my honeymoon that I got the role of Alice. Oh yeah. my goodness, that's a great story. <laughs> and how you didn't explode from all the stress of all that stuff at one time, I don't I have no I clue. Know, right? That's crazy. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's talk about this new movie, Mystery Spot. Um, uh, you see these like, uh, you know, those, those uh, roadside attractions and stuff like that. And I always think like the ones that are, are, are kind of left to, to their own, you know, nobody visits anymore, is so spooky when you're driving by. So I think this is a perfect location for a movie. It was really amazing. We filmed in a little town called Hempstead, Texas, and we actually stayed and lived at the inn that you see in <gasps> the film. Really? Um, and then there was a big old patio, so we'd be done filming, but we'd all have our lunches together and dinners. And it was great. I didn't have to drive to work. <laughs> I just opened my door and we'd start filming. But then again, you're in the spooky thing. You've been in the spooky spot in your head all day. And then at night, you're trying to dream and you're in the spooky yes. spot. You must have had nightmares. No, no, I love it. I love horror and spooky stuff since I was uh, yay high. <laughs> that was one of the questions I wanted to ask you. Uh, what is what is what scares you? What what, what are you scared of? Because you've been in so many scary movies. What scares me? Yeah. Planet of the Apes. Oh, I still really? have a recurring nightmare. Of I'm like five years old in my mother's arms. We're at the zoo. We're visiting the gorillas and everything. And one of the gorillas reaches through the bars, <laughs> pulls me out of my mother's arms. And he takes me to the back of his cell, his cage, opens the door, and it's Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> you really should yeah. talk to somebody about this. I, I, I'm a little worried now. I'm a little worried. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh, shoot. Why, what is it about this genre do you enjoy so much working in? I love, well, it's interesting because if you look at the bulk of my work, mm -hmm. Only like five percent of it has anything to do with horror. You but know you've what done I mean? Like I had a lot of comedy and a lot of, and and a lot of drama yeah. Yeah. and whatnot. Um, and but I love I love horror. I just love the thrill. I, I love the special effects. Um, and it's just a fun ride. You know, ninety minutes goes like that. You know. Agile, you know, uh, to be on the edge of your, your seat kind of thing, you know? Yeah, I, I love it too. And most mostly because like I can go home to my own house and my bed and makes everything seem nice and safe. You know what I'm saying? Like after I see a scary movie, I'll go <laughs> right, home like, right, okay, I'm right, fine, right, I'm fine right, now, you know, I'm fine now. Where can we see the mystery chase, spot? Where's it coming <laughs> out? What, 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 what I got to do? What was that? Uh, where can we see mystery spot? Couldn't hear yet. <laughs> I'm like, I keep getting closer to you, like I can yell in your ear. I'm getting closer when, so when I can hear better. When can we see Mystery Maybe. Spot? Sorry, guys. Is it, it out like now or is it coming out? When, when's Mystery Spot? Where, where can we see it? Oh, it's a, a video on demand. 
and uh, on the 7th of October, and then they'll have more platforms um, later on. Fantastic, fantastic. Later in October. So nice talking to you. And then, you know, if Chester wants to say hi, we still got a second. <laughs> he has. He's licking his paws behind me right now. Oh, with his ball. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Thanks, Lisa. Bye. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks so Happy much, Happy spooky guys. season to you. All right. Back to you, Court. <laughs>